What's up guys? We're at a park right down the street from the office. I'm right about to get our workout in for the day. Now I saw a lot of comments on the five best exercises for the pull-up bar. You guys wanted me to do a version for the dip bar. So I just pulled up by the dip bars. So today I'm gonna show you guys, you don't need access to a gym or equipment to still build solid muscle and get in great shape with my five best exercises for the dip bars. Now these five exercises I'm about to show you are personally the ones that I think are the best ones for the dip bar specifically. There's a lot of excellent exercises out there that may not have made it to my top five that are highly effective, but I didn't choose them because I wanted these five exercises to be specifically for the dip bars, meaning that you can't really do it on any other piece of equipment or it's most optimal to do it on the dip bars. So if you guys are wondering why you don't see handstands or 90 degree push-ups, stuff like that, I feel like you can do those exercises on the ground, on parallettes, other equipment. You don't necessarily need dip bars to do them. The exercises in this workout routine will all be scalable from advanced, intermediate to beginner. So get yourself to a dip bar and follow along. Let's get started. The first exercise I have to show you guys is L-sit to full planche. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, L-sit to full planche. Honestly, one of the best exercises for the dip bar, building massive shoulders, crazy core strength, requiring your whole body to work as one main muscle, strengthening your muscle chain. This exercise is also a progression to one of the hardest exercises in calisthenics, the full planche. Doing this exercise and mastering this exercise will eventually unlock that move. And mastering the full planche will develop so much strength and body control, building a whole lot more muscle and muscle definition. And if you notice for this move, we start in an L-sit and move into a full planche. Moving from these two different isometric positions while staying contracted is the same type of full body stress that your body undergoes when you do other calisthenics exercises like 90 degree push-ups, handstand push-ups. Basically, if you're lacking full body control, this is a great exercise to help you develop that really fast. All right, now if you're watching this and you're intermediate, the progression to this exercise would be doing this movement, but going into a straddle planche instead of a full planche. So let me show you really quick what that looks like. All right, so as you can see, as long as you keep your legs straight, you keep your core tight, your body is basically in a straight line from your shoulder all the way to your heel. And as you begin to move into the planche while keeping your arms straight, you're gonna spread your legs wide open into a split. This is gonna reduce your amount of body length, which is gonna make it easier to maintain and hold this position. When you've gotten the L-sit to straddle planche down with perfect form, super controlled, then you're ready to start moving on to the L-sit to full planche. And for the beginners out there, the progression would be L-sit to tuck planche. As you can see, the whole concept is keeping your arms as straight as possible and being as controlled as possible when moving from the L-sit to the planche position. Moving on to number four of my five best exercises for the dip bar, we have negative Hephaestos. Let me show you guys what that looks like really quick. All right, so there you have negative festos. In my opinion, probably the best bicep exercise and definitely one of the best exercises for building arm strength. Putting your entire dead weight on your isolated biceps. From a fully contracted position, you're gonna come all the way down into a full range of motion, arms locked out. So not only is this exercise great for building strong arms, but it's also an eccentric movement, meaning that we're gonna be working every range of motion and really increasing the time under tension, which is gonna tear more muscle fibers, building more muscle. And the Hefesto is just like the full planche, unlocking this exercise unlocks an incredible amount of strength body control and muscle development that you really can't get from any other exercise. And that's why I added it into one of my five exercises. So the intermediate version would be doing the negative Hefesto with your legs tucked. So let me show you guys what that looks like and then I want you guys to do this one for reps. So from this position right here, we're gonna bring our legs in tucked and then we're gonna come down. All 
All right, so now a beginner progression to this, which really isn't that beginner because this is a pretty difficult move. So you should already be pretty experienced if you're trying this exercise, but an easier progression is gonna be the Korean dip. So let me show you guys really quick what that looks like. So from sitting on top of the bar, you're gonna have your hands in a supinated position and you're gonna create an arch in your back, meaning that you're gonna allow your hips to be able to go under. So you can see all my weight now is being distributed on this side by my shoulders. So I can then slip my butt down, come down here. This is the bottom of the position. Lean back, press up, allowing your hips to come back on top. That's why you need that arch position. We're gonna go ahead and do this for reps. All right, so there you have Korean dips. This exercise, you need to start incorporating into your workout regimen. Just make sure you have good mobility in your shoulders before trying this move. And moving on to number three of my five best exercises for the dip bar, we have Archer Straight Bar Dips. Let me show you really quick what that looks like. So the Archer straight bar dips with the supinated grip. So this exercise takes your dips to a whole nother level. We're gonna be isolating each arm. So we're really gonna be putting the majority of our body weight onto each limb individually and repping it out. Normally what you're doing with two arms, you're now doing with one. So not only are you building muscle and making each arm individually super strong, but you're also training your straight arm strength. With your opposing arm, you're keeping your arm as straight as possible, which is also what is used to maintain your balance going up and down through the repetitions. But doing so and keeping your arm straight is gonna greatly increase your straight arm strength, making it a whole lot easier to do full planche, Maltese, or any type of straight arm exercises for that matter. And a progression to this exercise will be wide supinated straight bar dips. So let me show you guys what that looks like. Train these and you'll eventually work your way up to the Archer straight bar dips. Let's go for 10. As wide as you can, start with your core tight, depressing your scapulas, keeping your arms as straight as possible. We're gonna go all the way down in the chest, come back up. beginner progression to this would be wide straight bar dips jumping but moving into number four we have impossible dips let me show you real quick what that looks like area music all right so there we have impossibles and if you've ever tried that exercise you would agree that that move literally feels impossible just like the hefesto in my opinion one of the best exercises to build really strong arms you're putting your entire body weight onto your triceps and lowering down using your core and contracting your body as a whole to execute this movement so now let me show you guys the progression to this exercise it would literally be doing half impossible dips coming down as low as you can to where you can actually hold the position and then coming back up into the starting position keep in mind when you're doing this exercise you really don't want your shoulder to pass your hands now I know that's super hard but that's really what perfect form would be like for this exercise and that's why it's a lot different from a normal dip when you're doing a dip you're leaning forward and a lot of your body weight is being held by your chest your shoulders traps obliques triceps and so forth but this exercise really isolates and puts all that weight onto your triceps just want to go leaning back as low as you can then come back up eventually you'll be able to go lower and lower All right, so there are the half impossible dips. And the beginner progression to this would be doing normal dips, but leaning back and emphasizing as much weight as you can onto your triceps. Let me show you what that looks like. So this would be a normal dip. Coming forward, we're gonna lean back and try to do as much dips as we can, being as straight as possible, leaning back. Thank you. 
So as you can see, similar to the dip, but trains your body differently. So now we're gonna be moving on to our last exercise for my five best exercises for the dip bar. That's gonna be Superman dips. Let me show you really quick what that looks like. Superman dips, one of the top, top, top exercises for really building some serious strength and solid muscle and taking your training to the next level. If you've ever seen me freestyling and explode off the bar, this is one of the main techniques that you're gonna need to learn. Once you've mastered this exercise and you incorporate it with the muscle up, you're gonna be flying off that bar. And the more you train this explosive, the more you're gonna get used to controlling your body weight and you're gonna get way stronger when it comes to body weight training, being explosive, and basically being able to throw around anything that weighs as much as you. And while training this exercise, you're building a massive chest, arms, and shredding your core simultaneously. So let me show you guys an intermediate version of this exercise. That's gonna be explosive straight bar. Dips. Harry and music. So there you go. The more you train explosive, the stronger you get and the easier this becomes. Just keep in mind you want to have your body weight on the front side of the bar to make sure that you stay on top of the bar. If you're leaning back, you're going to fall down. And a beginner version of this, of course, would be practice your straight bar dips. Perfect form. Keep your body straight all the way down all the way up. Increase your repetitions, increase the volume, how much you do, and eventually they'll be feeling super light, super easy. You'll be able to throw some power in there and start exploding off the bar. But that's my top five best exercises for the dip bar. If you guys enjoyed this workout and the video, smash that like button. Share this video with a friend that's trying to get shredded without the need of a gym or gym equipment and comment down below and let me know what you want the next video to be about. We post every Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free Harry Apparel. And for more workouts and programs getting you in the best shape of your life, then go to harryapparel.com and sign up to become a member. Then go ahead and download Harry Pro on the App Store to take my personal workouts and workout programs with you everywhere. It's like having me as a personal trainer in your pocket. All the workouts that I'm actually doing on a daily and weekly basis, I'm always posting them on my app. And they're always scalable for beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So download the app and start training. I also have a workout generator on the app that uses an algorithm I developed that creates workouts and workout programs just for you, your fitness level, and your fitness goal. Chris Harrius style. So that's going to wrap up today's video. I'll catch you guys in California on our California tour. If you want to get a chance to work out with me, then go to thenx.com slash blog slash event find a date in your area and sign up right away while we still have availability. I can't wait to meet you guys and train with you. And if you're digging the songs on this YouTube channel, I'm going to be releasing all my personal music on my SoundCloud. As soon as I hit 10K subs on my SoundCloud, I'm going to be releasing all my music. So go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to pass by chrisharriot.com later on this week. I'm going to be dropping my brand new apparel collection. We're going to be having hoodies, joggers, chino pants. Go check it out. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and buy something before they're all sold out. And I will see you guys next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out. I'ma make this time go Rolex. I'ma make this time go Rolex.